this is kind of something that I've brought up um, on some of my vlogs a few times about, I guess, my feels right now with competing and um, I want to be centered, but I don't, Allie's like in the middle. So maybe if I like turn this a little bit. Oh, and then you get a little flower, a little flower view. Anyway, so I'm, I wrote down all these thoughts and feelings that I've kind of been struggling with lately. And it's been mainly like really all year, honestly. But then I had like the Arnold invite and everything. So I just kind of pushed them aside a little bit. Um, so I don't know if I'm actually going to post this video or not. Um, so, and if I do, maybe I'll, I won't post it for a while, but I think it'll be good to get it off my chest and maybe help clear my head a little bit. I already wrote it down in my food journal because I was having a really rough day earlier this week and I just, you know, two weeks out from a show. So today is July 16th, um, two weeks out from the Prestige Crystal Cup. And this is kind of that time when you get those prep feels, you know, you question why you're doing it, you're tired, you're exhausted, you know, and then on top of it, if you have a whole lot going on in your personal life, it can be even harder. So I, I wrote down a whole bunch of my thoughts and feels, I guess you could say, um, about my competitive career, about me personally, how I feel about competing, my struggles that I try to keep my channel really really positive I don't like to post the negative things um, if I have struggles I try to show you guys or I guess talk myself through them and I don't show you the bad side the the side when I'm you know really mad you know because nobody wants to see that I don't want it to be a, a negative thing I want it to be positive so I get you know but we're all human and I'm obviously not perfect so earlier this year I was kind of Okay, so I've been competing for almost four years now. I've been in the in the IFBB Pro League for three years now, and a lot of you might not know this, I've been competing that long, and I've done so many shows. I don't just do one or two shows a year. I usually compete, compete like three to five times, sometimes more than that in a year. Um, I haven't really taken time off since I started competing. I've just been go, 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 and I think that that's kind of starting to like really take a toll on me. I love competing, I love being on the stage, I love transforming my body, but sometimes I feel like it's kind of ruined my life, you know, it's just, it's, you're so self-indulged, you're, it's a very selfish sport, you know, it's all about you, all about your time, when you need to eat, when you have to go work out, all that stuff, um, and while I enjoy it, and I've, kind of learned to balance it with my daily life it's just become my lifestyle now it can still be really really hard um especially for people around you and uh you know you just miss out on a lot because you can't do a lot of things and i know people say that oh you just need to learn to balance it it's never the same you know what i mean you're always gonna be that person just there and it doesn't bother me i've and it doesn't bother a lot of people that i'm with really but I just, I don't ever take that time for myself. So, the, I'm just going to kind of read you my, like, journal, like, the things that I wrote down because it was just, I don't know. Will I compete again? That was, like, the first thing I wrote down. So, I've got these next two shows lined up. I've sent in my contract for the Prestige Crystal Cup. I really don't feel like I'm bringing my best package to date. I think that maybe, like, I'm really tired, I'm really stressed out, and... My body's just not responding like it has, and, and I probably just need a break, honestly. So I sent in my contract for the Prestige Crystal Cup. When I commit to something and I say I'm going to do it, I'm always going to follow through. So I'm not going to back out, but I'm still hanging on to that contract for the San Antonio show, which is originally the show that I wanted to do because it's here in Texas, it's local, it's really close to me. And I still have full intentions of doing it, but I'm not going to go on stage not looking my best, you know, plus I've, it seems like every single day I keep falling into this hole of like, of these feelings, like, am I made for this, you know, I've, I've been competing for four years, and if you guys have not googled it, you probably haven't noticed, but I have never placed in the professional league, I'm probably the only athlete that looks relatively decent on stage, and has never placed 
I've only gotten first call outs one time and that was my last show. Uh, what show was that? It was in May, um, the Florida Grand Prix. And while I've made, you know, positive strides and I can see my body finally developing and, you know, a lot of, the, a lot of it has to do with my size, but it's maybe my physique isn't made for this. You know, I do, I feel I've done, I don't know, like 14, 15 shows and I, I don't, I'm not going to say her name, but I was at a show um, where one of the girls won and she's someone that I knew from another team. And she said, I've, it's taken me 14 IFBB, and she's like in tears, to win a show. I'm like, bitch, I fucking haven't even gotten first call out, and I've competed in as many shows as you. And I guarantee you that I've, I've probably gotten last, absolutely last call outs more than anyone in the IFBB. I, I don't understand how many times I've played. Like, it's so normal it's for me to place last. It's unbelievable. Um, I've made so many sacrifices to compete and to really give my best. Because when I do something, I'm going to give it my best. I'm never going to half-bass it. Um, you know, I, I enjoy my life. But sometimes but there's a lot of things that I can't do. And, you know, sometimes I just think I haven't taken a break, you know relationship suffer, all that jazz. So why do I keep doing it? Um, I keep telling myself, maybe this is my time, you know, 2016, this is my time. So, you know, I was with my, with the first team I was on bombshell and I was basically like, okay, well I'm gonna take time off competing or I'm not gonna do it anymore. Then I decided that I would just change teams and I saw results so quickly and I was like, okay, well maybe this is it. Maybe this is gonna help push me over that that hump you know so I said okay 2016 we're gonna give it a full year and do that and even starting 2016 I was still like kind of doubtful about it because I've had that lingering feeling for so long and I just keep pushing it off so then I got that Arnold Australia invite and I was super motivated and that really helped and I thought okay well maybe now I'm starting to get noticed then I compete a week before the Arnold at the Phil Heath and I get like 13th which is ridiculous and of course I don't even get called out at the Arnold which I was not expecting to be called out or anything like that but then I go and I compete four weeks later or six weeks later something like that and I get first call outs moved around anywhere from four through six and I told the first words out of my mouth when I got off stage I told my coach I was like freaking first call outs and I'm probably gonna get sixth place. I, and sure enough, I got sixth place. It's like I get slapped in the face every time. So maybe this is my time. That's kind of like, I just keep telling myself that. And then the fear of quitting. I don't wanna be a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I don't quit at things. I have goals. I, I want to go to the Olympia. I want to compete in the Olympia. I want to be a top athlete. Um, and the fear of stopping or like just quitting, being a quitter. I don't want to be that girl that quit. Oh, she quit too early. Oh, she was almost there and she quit. Um, you guys don't know. Like I work, I hear people talk, a lot of these girls that I prep with or that I compete with, I hear about their preps and stuff and I, I swear to God, I do like so much more shit than they do, you know, and I, I've kind of loosened up over time, but I'm really hard on myself when I prep. I do everything 110%, and not everybody does that. So there's also this fear of mine that since I've been doing this for so long, I've, and this, this is why if you are competing just because everyone else is doing it and because it's a trend, I urge you not to ever compete. Do not compete because forever you will have this fear of not looking stage lean. Like your body will be at its utmost perfectness or whatever, I just don't even work. But you'll never look that way again. You know, and it kind of, if you're not strong minded enough, it will make you depressed. And even though I mentally am strong now and I understand that, it still throws me for a loop every single time. So there's this fear of not being stage lean, of not keeping up appearances, of people thinking, oh, she let herself go or something like that, just because I'm not competing. Um, so that's another fear of why 
I just keep going. Um, then there's, there's the fear of, okay, well, if I take a year off or if I just take a little break, if I stop and I can't get back on the wagon, you know what I mean? Like, I just totally lose it and I'm like, oh, this is so, you know, like I'm afraid that that's going to happen because I really do, I really love competing. So these are all just like lists of why I'm still doing what I'm doing. Um, and then I think kind of the biggest fear for me is the fear of missing out. Like when you see other people on social media and friends and competitors and they're placing and getting Olympia qualified and I'm over here eating fucking Halo Top or something at night and not lean and shredded. You know, it's it's a real struggle, you guys. That's Allie playing with her bone, just so you know. You know, in, I've been kind of struggling with it for a really long time. And I don't know. I think now the time has come. I think that after these two shows, especially with my personal life, like we've got so much going on with the businesses, we're so busy, and I feel like I'm kind of, if I was doing that, working on my business and fitness and all that jazz, you know, we would do a lot better and get a lot further. I also want to grow my personal business, you know, in the fitness industry, and, you know, when you compete, a lot of your time goes to that. You're too tired to do other things. Um, so that's that's definitely one thing. So then one of the other things too that it's like, and, and this is kind of like a general weight loss kind of goal and I, I tell people this because this is kind of how weight loss is, is that you might, you might see progress and then you kind of plateau, plateau, plateau and then you've got to come, your body has to come to like this breaking point where it finally hits a wall and then starts to drop. Okay, so I tell people, you know, hang on, don't quit too early. You know, you gotta keep going because your weight will drop, you know, you just, it's consistency. So my fear is, I keep, I keep telling myself I'm so close, so close to my goals, so close to seeing results. What if I quit now and if I would have kept going, that would have been it, you know, like there's that horrible fear, you know, that I quit just right before that breaking point and dang, I missed out, you know, I don't know. So let's see what else I wrote down on here, turn on the page. I've kind of tried to write down some, so if I'm going to take some time off tried to write down some thoughts and ideas of how I would handle the future and how I should, I guess, gear or what I should do with my competitive career because I do enjoy it and maybe I don't have that Olympia body and maybe I don't have that top physique. Um, maybe just focusing on, on just competing on one show every year and just giving one prep my all you know that type of thing you know because a lot of people do that they just compete one time a year that's it they did it they feel great and they move on more of like a personal accomplishment um there's also that well what if i take a break now so it's august and i just start my competition season later in the year so i was thinking maybe just starting like in the puerto rico pro which would be in may it's usually in may um, you know, usually I start competing in March and then I go through basically on and off the whole year. Um, so that's, those are my thoughts. You know, I tell people competing is great. It's really, you set these goals for yourself and it's, it's a really hard sport. You're doing things that 99.9% .9 of most people cannot do, especially if you're doing it right. So it makes you like a serious badass. I say that all the time in all of my videos. You, If you compete and you do it right and you give it your all, you're a serious badass because it, this shit's hard, <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you're, if you wanna compete just because everyone else is doing it and it's the cool thing to do and you just wanna see what it's like, I urge you not to do it because it is, it is a sport that will take over your life. It will, and I don't want to be like a downer here because obviously I keep saying I love competing, I really do, but it's 
it's just a different lifestyle and it's rough on everyone around you rough on you it will leave you really really lonely you know especially me I, I feel like i'm kind of like an introvert i guess you could say i don't really like i'm not a social person i don't go out to bars and drink i don't when i'm around a lot of people socializing it kind of it's kind of exhausting to me it's mentally draining um so being that I'm a person like that and then I compete, it's just like this double slap in the face. So I'm left with my little creature over here and my husband who half the time is mad at me because I can't go have a glass of wine, you know? Which, I'm not saying anything negative about him. He's like the best supporter of me ever. But you know, all in all, like we all, we can all, you can only take so much of something, you know? And people ask me all the time, you know, how much longer are you going to compete for? Are you going to do that forever? And I'm like, I don't know. I just know that I think it's fun and I like it and I'm doing it right now. And, you know, we'll see what happens. So, these are my feels. I don't know if I'm going to post this video. I don't know what's going to come of it. I have felt this way for a while and I haven't really said to anybody or even this is kind of my diary so you guys are like you guys hear the real dirty truth and I don't even know if any of this if what I'm saying makes sense I feel like I'm just like it's like word vomit right now uh, like feels are just coming out like crazy people so I don't know um, two weeks out that's all I know right now giving it my all because that's what I do I'm not gonna half ass anything um, but yeah, I, I was actually uh, FaceTiming with my coach this morning and he was like, I feel like your body was really slow to respond to the beginning of this prep, which is not normal for you. And obviously, you know, I had just come back from Vegas and then I had my period. And like, when I have a period, it's like hormones everywhere. But I also think that stress and motivation had a lot to do with it too. You know, I wasn't really, I wanted to compete, but I was really tired and just not motivated because I'm just not, seeing the results that I want to see. Obviously my physique is growing. Obviously my physique is improving and that is a total plus. Really happy about that. But you know, when it comes to like stage performance, you know, I'm just not where I want to be. So uh, now that said, I might post this video and in fucking two weeks, you know, place top five or something like that. Who freaking knows, but, or I might not post this video and I might post it after I don't place. I don't know. But anyway, those are just, I just want to be real with you guys. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Love to hear your comments, um, so be sure and leave those down below. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring, me sitting here just talking to you guys for like 20 freaking minutes. Maybe I'll try to shorten it up a bit because probably said um a lot but real talk we're not all perfect and uh yeah make sure and subscribe to my channel and try to keep it positive and on a lighter note um for the most part this is probably my first real serious uh post so um thankfully i'm not in a really bad mood right now because i could probably cry talking about this um anyway i'm gonna get to uh couch potatoing couch slothing it's saturday and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Make sure and thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.